All right, about the one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done. Figured the bugs would be better, but they are not. Me and Harper have been walking for about two miles to get into this little designated trout lake. My hands are full. My hands are already numb. I don't even know how many times I've been bit. It's about a hundred bugs on me at once. I've probably been bit triple digit times. This dog's starting to go insane because she's getting bit too, but we drove all this way. We're gonna end up seeing what it's like. Walking through a swamp right now. And yeah, pretty brutal. Ooh, there's a fucking hole. Shoe gone. <laughs> Shoe gone. Not good. Found it. Shoe res rescue mission. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? What am I doing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, Carper. Found the, the crock. Woo! <laughs> Designated trout lake. Let's go. Dude, it's gonna be tough getting out of here even. We made it. That was ridiculous. Bobber down, baby. Got one. Oh, like the worm. Get this way. Oh, and that's why you walk that far. Right there. A gorgeous brook trout. Oh, no one has been in here. I don't even know ice fishing the trails. The trail is covered with some big giant trees. I don't even know if anyone can get in here with snow machines, but a beautiful little eater there, a little 13 incher. That's what I'm talking about. Makes everything worthwhile. First brookie. Oh, I got my slip bobber. I don't know the depth. It doesn't seem super deep. It seems about 10 to 12 feet from where I can cast to. But I only have my slip bobber about four feet down. A couple worms. Got her done. Let's catch another. Let's go. There's a fish. Nice one. Drags a little loose. Don't want it too tight though. And now we got one on the spinner. Let's go. This one feels nice. <laughs> Just gotta get it in. Oh yeah. Nice brookie. That is what I'm talking about right there. Let's go. Whoa, 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 stay. That is gorgeous. <laughs> that is a gorgeous fish. This has been my go-to brook trout lure, a little blue fox size four, a little big honestly, but. All right. Harper and I are going to wrap up the day. Two really nice brook trout. Two really nice brook trout. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to see how I uh, decide on these lakes I end up going to. Hearing wolves off in the distance, gotta love that. 
steel. That does not sound like a small pack. Yo. So the Minnesota DNR has a great website here that shows you a map of every single designated trout lake. So first things first I want to say is you got to get away. Um, get away from people, go somewhere super remote and, that, remote and that's where you're going to have your best uh, chance at success. But another thing I like to do is you can go to these uh, site here and click on a lake. So we'll click on Briar Lake, a little lake close to Duluth. Great service right here. So Briar Lake, um, a little lake, public access, easy to get to, close to Duluth. So I wouldn't recommend going here if you're trying to catch a lot of fish or big fish. But a thing that you can look at is fish stocking. It'll show you every year um, how many fish are stocked, what kind, and then the big thing that I focus in on when I'm looking at uh, these lakes is the fisheries lake survey. I think this is a huge thing in determining if I want to go to this lake. So it'll show you the last time they netted it, their uh, standard survey. The last time this lake was netted was in 2009. So obviously the data on this survey isn't going to be as up to date as some other surveys. But I come down and I look down here at uh, you know the trout you're going after, the size. If, uh, if the nets are showing um, trout with big uh, big size, 15 to 19, 20 to 24 inches, then you know it's a good little lake that can support fish year after year. So that's a little insight on when I go do my exploring. And uh, thank you all for watching another video. Have a good one.